Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kabadi League 2022 live in Africa, of course the part of Africa, Uganda. I am your host tonight, I'm called Vinny Jura, and my colleague on the right side, Eric Sengendo. Yes, that's my name, and today we are going to, we're going to be looking at the very, very first edition of the Uganda Kabadi League match. This is where we, we showcase what we've got as Uganda in Kabadi sport. And it's match day one today. We have Jakana Super Bullets versus the Big Fish. And uh, we have uh, <laughs> today, the only thing I can say is going to be fire because both these two teams are ready. They've trained, they are ready to rumble. Yeah, we are live at Fast Fusion Sports uh, right here in Bugolob Industrial Area. Big up to our, our sponsors, that is the Fan Court, making it happen tonight here in Uganda. Uh, and today, at the umpires, we have uh, umpire Kamiya, and uh, the main umpire of today will be umpire Ephraim. I, I, all I can say for certain, this goal is going to be very... I mean, we have seven, uh, seven players from each, uh, each team on the court at a time with, of course, substitutions at any time. This, this is a very, very nice sport. This is a very nice sport, a contact game with uh, a small percentage of injuries. Uh, and today we are having our guest who is going to help us in the uh, tossing of a coin. Her name is Pastor Sarah Obama. Uh, we One of, the yes. One of the founders uh, of Kabadi, she was there when this whole thing was being set up. Yes. We're having a prayer. Look at all these players. They're all humble. Yeah, that's one thing I know about the sport. Yeah. They're all humble, looking ready for today's match, and they are not sure. Who's going to go away with the points? And the players done. Yes, they've been given a go ahead to have fun today. A blessing from God. Tell me something about the Kabaddi League, uh, well, the origin, where it began from, well, well, the current champions. Well, Kabaddi was started in Uganda in 2017 by the General Secretary, Edgar Gamujuni. That, that's when he got a vision that Kabaddi can be played in Uganda. And he strategized, found players, and he started the game. And in the year 2018, yes. uh, that's when, uh, that's when uh, the national team got prepared to go to Iran for the World Cup. That was the very first time they represented our country. Yeah, the results were not that good, but uh, the, the main issue we represented. Being the first time, of course, they never really had to be good. The most important thing was representation. Uh, now the captains are approaching the umpire. There is certain things you want to tell them through how he wants this game to go. Who's going to be waiting first? He doesn't want any hard feelings during this game. So that's, uh, that's uh, Kamoga representing Super Bullet KC, and uh, that's Chivoka representing the Big Fish KC. I like the fact uh, that sports builds character into gentlemen and ladies. I mean, sports makes you humble. If you look at the way the captains are according attention to the, uh, to the referee, it's really, really good. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, the captains are trying to, to make a toss here to see which team is going to defend first and the team which is going to ready first. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first edition of Uganda Kabadi Ridge. Uh, we are having Team Big Fish taking on Team Jakana Square Bullets. And that's the team call. Uh, that's the motivation. From the team in blue. In the Look at this, uh, Kamoga, the right cover. They really have to watch out for him. That's Abe on the raid. Look at that footwork. Trying to look for a point early this game. You know, it's always better to get a point early. Does he make it? Oh, yes. Yes, he does it. And what like I told way. you, Abe's physique for this sport is so out of this world. <laughs> he's not an easy man to hold when he wants to go. Nice work by Abe. And that's, uh, and that's one point. For Team Sharks. Jakana on the raid. Look at that footwork. They really have to watch out for this player because uh, he's coming in hot. Shot one. Look at that footwork. Trying to look for a point, but the defenders are saying he goes back empty-handed without getting a point. I think that's a big blow to Team Jakana. Abe here is trying to claim his two points from the previous raid. He's trying to claim. But, but why would the referee miss such things? I think. Uh, he's claiming just because he's claiming doesn't mean he's right. <laughs> okay. But uh, everyone has a right to claim, and the umpire says, uh, "Please get back saw, to your position." Yeah, I saw the right points. Go back. Uh, this is uh, another raider from the big fish. He's trying to look for a point here. The defenders are. This is shot five. Look at that technique. He's very relaxed, very composed. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, he knows they are looking. I hope he's looking at the time. Ah, there it goes. And he runs back to safety without a point. Yeah, without a point, but again, they are safe. That's what you are. From Jakana Super Bullets. Look at the stretch. It looks very, very fit and aggressive. I must say the defenders for Big Fish must really watch out for Wadia because he's always looking for a point and he looks focused. Is Wally on the national team? Yeah, he's a national. He gets at all. You see, I told them they have to watch. They have to watch out for. And once again, for Wadia. <laughs> and that's Abe. Abe takes a seat. Abe out. <laughs> The biggest player on the court. Yeah. <laughs> you see, when Abel goes out of court, I think uh, the defense of the big fish is left with a big hole. They really have to try to cover him. Look at uh, this radar, shot nine. Trying to look for a point here for the big fish. Has he got a point? Yes! But he's still safe. Yes! He's still safe. He's safe. The defender is out. And a point for <clears throat> Sharks, Kabaddi, Giants. They are leading with only one point. That's Wadi again. They have to really watch out for Wadi because he can get a touch. No way to yeah. Abe. <laughs> Once again. As Wadi was trying to pass, Abe blocks him and says, Sir, <laughs> not this time. No, just like they were saying, again. Abe is very, very important to Team Big Fish. I mean, his strength and everything is a, a plus to Team Big Fish on defense. Yeah, and here comes Abe again. Look at him, well composed. He walks like a giant. Moves like a lion. That's a lion walk. When someone does that walk, just know we are looking for a point. And you Look can hear him walk. chanting. You can yeah. hear him chanting. <laughs> Look at this confidence. They can do absolutely nothing to him. And he knows it. He runs back to safety. He's leading. Look at him. Yeah, it's actually leading. Composed. That was a very, very good strategy. He doesn't have to rush because if you can see the scores, Team Big Fish has three points and Jakana has one. They really need to dig deep. Yes. Uh, another raid from Jakana. Shot six. Trying to look for a point for Jakana. Will he make it? We will see in a few seconds. Trying to stretch here, leg stretch. 
but gets nothing in return. He looks very aggressive on offense. The difference yeah. is so, so composed, so it's really, really hard for him to get a point. And once again, Abe steps in front. <laughs> I think Abe is feeling very confident right now. He feels like he's owning the game. Look at the composure. I mean, and, uh, the wow! <laughs> what a raid! What a raid! What a game! Once again, Abe shows his talent. Very, very exceptional. I told you, on his mask, it's not easy to hold him. The defender tried. I must give him credit for that. But again, I must congratulate Abe for showing such aggressiveness. You can't hold him back when he wants to go. And he's proving us right and right. And it's still 3-1 to Team Sharks with about 14 minutes played. In it's the first half, right? Yeah, it's a 7 it's one. actually 7. They are leading by 6 points. That's so, a lot of points to lose, to be led by. Jakana Super Bullets. Uh, he's only left one on court, so it's in his interest to get a point. Has he got a touch? And yes, he claims a point for Jakana Super Bullets. That's great work for that trader. Shot number six. And, he, and he, he gets one of his players back on the, on the court. He, that was exceptional from a shot number. Now, there, there are only two defenders on court. But if they can hold Abe, they'll get two points for a super tackle. Because they are few. And Abe tries to get more points. Can oh he make God. it? Yes! <laughs> Abe once again, very exceptional. More points. More and more and more. He came to win today. That's an all out for Abe. Congratulations to him. He trained so hard and is reaping what he sold. And, the, and just like the way you said, Abe, very, very exceptional tonight. He came to play, looks very prepared. Actually, doesn't look tired yet. He has done the most work on the court today. And that's four points for the Sharks. Because they got an all out. Congratulations to Abe. I, I want to say the scores are looking very, very embarrassing. I don't know if uh, the Sharks team has a lot of yeah. national team players on their team. With certainty, I can say at this point, this game can still go either way. Uh, really? Yes. <laughs> so it's a matter two. of revising their strategy. I mean, for the Jakana Super Bullets, if they revise their strategy well and they compose themselves, they're likely to take this game with them. At this moment, at this time, and that's another point for the Sharks Kabaddi team. The Sharks on a roll, mm. looking very hard to stop. I think it's a timeout. The coach has something to say. I think he doesn't like the scores. 12-2, that is really, really dangerous. Yeah, that, this is what I've been talking about. Now, if the Jakana Super Bullets revise their strategy well, they can still take this game with them. It's just a matter of revising who is supposed to go when and who is supposed to catch who. Yeah, I agree. I think it's still fast half, about 12 minutes to go into the game. And uh, just like, if you saw the way Team Big Fish got those points, it was in a very short time. Yeah, so they can still catch up. Yeah, I believe there's still time to catch up. But because once again, Abbe steps on the court. Is he this the is most offensive player on the team? Yeah, this is the, there's something about Abbe today. Look at him, very well composed, no pressure. He has everything under control. I'm guessing if you give him a cup of juice right now, <laughs> he can still take it while riding. He looks very relaxed. Yeah. He actually doesn't look scared. And he runs back to safety. Come on, go on the raid. Come on, Tries to get a leg touch. Yeah. He came in with power. I think he's part of the reverse. That's a dub key. What are you talking about? He proves everyone wrong that Jakana Super Bullets are still on in the game. That's a dub key. And two players are out. That was a good move by just the number. Great footwork. Great timing by Kamoga. Two points for Jakana Super Bullets. I told you this game can still go yes, either way. Yes, and, uh, On the look of things, uh, just like you said, anything is still possible. But once again, Abe. just the number three, Abe. <laughs> there is something about Abe today. He's well composed. Now, it doesn't... Oh my God! And they have him. <laughs> that's the that's the beauty of teamwork. 
You see, Abba is not an easy person to catch when you are two, <laughs> but when you grab him as a team, it has to be good team of uh, team effort to yeah. grab Abba. And I like the good sportsmanship from uh, Jaza number nine of yeah. Team Jakana, giving Abba a tap on the shoulder, much as he's punishing them, but it's still sport. It's a friendly sport. Here comes Wadia Ismail, trying to look for a point here, and he crosses. He's I safe. think that those will be two points for him. It looks like two points from here, but the umpire will be the one. Ah, that's one point. We have three players for the team Big Fish on the, on, on the court right now. It's Abbe actually is changing. Yes. Abbe is off and shot five is here, trying to look for a point. He's doing great. Look at the footwork, trying to... And has he got a point? Yes. That was good. He has got a point for Sharks. And the defender Kamoga is out. That's a point for Sharks. Today's game is a beauty of Kabadi. What a great way to open a league. It's the team's looking very fit. It's really, really a. A very good first game for the day. It's my again. Team Sharks with about uh, 13 points to 6 points uh, to Team Jakana. Do they have a grip? And yes! Yes! They got him just before he touched the line. <laughs> <laughs> great teamwork by the Sharks Kabadi. And Ismail is out. Look at him. He, he, looks, he actually looks injured. Very disappointed. I think, he be, point. I think he deserves some medical attention. He looks hurt. Here comes shot number five again. The last time he raided, he was successful and took a point. And he's back again for more. Look at that footwork. <laughs> he's well composed too. These players came in ready for this league. They knew what they were approaching for. It's good to see a change of raiders from Team Shark. It has always been the big man himself, Abe. <laughs> it's good to see Jazza number five coming on and trying to raid. Very true. Very true. And it's good to touch. <laughs> uh, that's a terrible teamwork from Jakana. You see in Kabaddi, it's all about teamwork. The more you use teamwork, the more you get you earn points. Now the, this defender had tried to catch the raid alone and uh, the results have not, not been good. This is Super Bullets trying to get another point. Nice footwork, nice footwork. Looks like he got a bonus point. The umpire will be the one to... Yeah, he's run out of time. And yes, he got a bonus point. That's seven points for Jakana and 15 for Sharks, Kabadi Giants. Yeah, Abe once again. Abe once again. He's trying to get a touch here. He's leading his game. And definitely wants it to stay that way. <laughs> Look at his footwork. Abe looking impossible to stop. <laughs> you see, with a play of that mass, you can't just go around grabbing him while you're alone. You need a team, and he claims a touch. A good play there by Abe, with a smile on his face. That's another point for Sharks. And they are leading with 16 points. A raider from Jakana, trying uh, to get a point. Look at that footwork. The defenders are saying no point here today, sir. Please go back. Tell me something about the defensive uh, setup of Team Sharks. They look impossible to... We, we look at their formation. They, they look organized. Look at that movement of the right covers and the in covers. They are covering very well. The defender, when he's on the other side raiding, he feels threatened. That's why they go back with no point. It looks like Team Jakana once again has three players on the court. Mm. I think this is a piece of cake to Abe. I mean, ah. he gets him. Maybe, maybe. Oh my God. And he crosses. He crosses the line. The mid -line. <laughs> you can't stop him when he wants to go. 
Look at him. Very possible to stop. And congratulations to him. And it's like, once again, Team Zakana has two players in the court again. Are they going to survive? <laughs> that will be um, <clears throat> upon them. They can still to, to, they can still survive. If this raider tries to get a point, they can be three again on the court. But uh, it's not easy as it looks. But I mean, he has to try. He has been he has been <laughs> Well, has been good. If, if Abe keeps on this performance, I think he's going to be the man of the match because he's playing well, reading well. Personally, well. to me, Abe, Abe is the man of the match as, as it stands. I mean, he's contributing on points, contributing defensively. He's, he doesn't seem to get tired. No. There's nothing you can do when a player finds you alone. A player like Abe with his mask, when he finds you alone, there's nothing you can do. I think that is all out. <laughs> yeah, that's an all out. Three points for Sharks. The big fish. Embarrassing Team Jakana. I mean, 21 to 6. Match day one. I think they're the team to look out for. <laughs> but this is the very first match. You never know. There's a lot of things that can go wrong at this time in the league. Uh, there is a lot of pressure because uh, the league is just beginning. But uh, we will see in the near future. At this point, I say personally, this game can still go either way because this is only the first half of this match. Yeah, you're the best, so I believe what you're saying is true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can still go either way. Just a matter of revising your strategy, knowing who to go when. That's Ismail on a raid. And, once and he again, runs back to safety. Without a point again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy as it looks, my man. The team Jakana bench looks... They, they look like they've given up. If you look at the team Jakana and bench... And he claims a leg touch. Once again. He claims a leg touch. He's claiming a touch. The umpire will be the one to decide whether that touch happened or not. How he steps into the, lab, in the lobby. He's confirming the touch. Wow. So the and refs, the, it looks like the umpire is going to consult. Abe is on the referee's case from the start of the game. So has he awarded a point? Uh, we're going to, yet to see the final result. And the umpire says the defender off. That's a point for the big fish, Sharks. <laughs> I think I should call this team. I, I should call Team Sharks Team Abe, not Team, <laughs> not team Sharks. Because he's doing all the work. He's doing everything. Yeah, very true. But uh, Kabad is all about teamwork. If you put Abe alone on the court, he cannot play this well. But team. he's playing well because he's, he has a teammates yeah, has a surrounding team. him. Yeah. That's another point for the big fish, Sharks. You see, at this moment, one, the only thing Jakana can do is to revise their strategy. They can still come back and catch up to these points. Just a matter of revising their strategy. It's up again, trying to look for a point. Look at that stretch. And he's fast. He and claims a touch. That's a high five from Kamoga. Kamoga. Kamuga congratulates Abe once again. Good sportsmanship. <laughs> I think yeah. he knows he knows a star when he sees one. That's the beauty of sports. The discipline that players showcase while playing. And it's Wally again. He's trying to look for a point. Uh, it won't be easy. Team Sharks have organized their strategy. I think there's a player who is injured. He has been taken off. He stepped out of the line, ah, stepped okay. out of court. Okay. So he had to be penalized for that. That was good by the referee. Really keen to see such things. Uh, yeah, and those are two points for, for Jakana Super Bullets. So that, that was a good raid. I mean, they've had two players out. Yeah. That's a good raid. Now, the only thing they have to do right now is to catch Abe and prevent him from crossing the mid line. <laughs> that would be another point and a great, a great haul to Team Sharks. Well, he is trying to get an ankle grip for, for Abe, but... Uh, oh my God, good strength. What a defense! But they tackle him down very, very aggressively. That's what I was talking about. Teamwork. 
to hold. And in the process, Jazzy number eight got hurt. Yes. <laughs> I mean, Abe is so hard to stop. That's what I told you before. When you train well in Kabadi, no matter how bad you're tackled, you can still stand up and walk away. And the scores are still 24 to Team Sharks and about 9 to Team Jakana. What are you again? Trying to claim points? Look at that stretch. They really have to watch out for Walia's stretch because he's physically tall and uh, he stretches a lot. Good footwork. With about 12 Kick seconds to go. Do you think he'll get a point? Uh, we will see. We will see in a few seconds. I think he's going to give up. And he goes back. <laughs> You see, the beauty of Kabadi, even if you fail to get a point while raiding, you can still earn a point in defending. Yes. Shot number five for Sharks, the big fish, trying to look for a point. Will he get any point? Uh, no one knows for sure, but let's see. Does it That's touch? good defensive oh work God, from been Jakana's Pabulets. That's what I've been talking about, the beauty of Kabadi. Even if you fail to get a point while raiding, you can still earn a point by defending. Yeah. Another point. So the, judging from what I'm seeing with the scores, this game can still go either way today. The, yeah, the game is still tight. The yes. game is still tight. 24 to 10. I mean, just 14 points. Still in the first half, I think there's still hope. And the first half is nearly done because uh, the clock has counted down. This will be our last raid, and that will be a point for the Sharks. Once again, Sharks ex ex displaying very, very good defensive skills over there. Yes. And the raider is out. 1-1 one, one point because uh, a defender from Sharks was taken out, just uh, stepping out of the court. T tell me something, tell, tell me something, and uh, I believe it should also help the viewers outside. That, I mean, the time is down, but mm -hmm. the game is still going on. It's, yes, uh, the umpire can, still, can decide when to end the match. So the time doesn't really count? It counts, it counts, the time counts, but uh, when the time counts while a raid, is, a raid is going on, the raid has to first end. Okay. Yes. That was a one pointer by just the number nine from Team those are, Fish. Those are two points. Actually, two points, yeah. Two yeah. points. No, I think they are more than two points because. Uh, oh my four God, points. those are four points. What a raid. <laughs> this is good for Team Sharks. It's good to see without uh, Abe, Team Sharks uh, can still represent. I mean, four points without Abe, that means they're destined for greatness today. Yeah. And uh, the umpire says half time is over. Wow, that was it. That was very, very good from Team Sharks and, of course, uh, Team Jakana. Very yeah. good display of skill. I mean, uh, scores were about, uh, scores were about uh, yeah. 14, like 30. Yeah, yeah 14, it's still a difference of 14 points. It's still tight. Yeah, it's still tight. And Kabad is still tight because in the second half, if Jakana comes back well prepared, they can still catch up to this game. So tell me some things. Well, what do you think, uh, I mean, Team Jakana has to do to change? I mean, they, they really need points. They're suffering. I mean, they're down 19 points. Very true. Well, for starters, they have to work on their defense because when you look at the way Abe is getting points, that's a way that, uh, that's a way that Abe can be defended. But it's only a matter of revising their strategy because Abe is not a, an easy person to grip when you're alone so you have to work as a team and hold him back i mean yes. i mean if you see how the points are being allocated they're dominating on the raid points tackle points all out points they have dominated and i mean team jacan is only dominating on the extras what should they do to do, to try and dominate i mean offensively they are really lacking every time most times whenever they go to raid the well, seconds run out and they just go back and well the, the very first third raids that ismail what he did he, you, see, you can see that his game was, his mind was coming into the game. He was uh, trying to br bring back his team. So I think for the second half, he's going to even have to work harder so that he gets points for his teams. For his team, yeah. I believe they should have, I, I, I hope in their team strategy, they are talking about Abe because Abe has been a problem. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Defensive, indeed. They are defensively. Yeah, indeed. Tell me, how do you stop a player like Abe? I mean, he's out yeah. of this world, <laughs> very strong, a player he's with, too quick. A player with that mass and with that speed, with that agility and focus, 
you can only catch him in a chain, a chain of two or more people. Yeah. Because if you try to catch him alone, he will knock you over. <laughs> I mean, I so, saw he injured one of the players right here. Yeah, you have to defend as a team while defending uh, and raider like Abby. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Because uh, on the look of things, out of 30 points, I think Abbe has contributed about 20. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a problem today. I can't say for sure I contributed 20, but yes, he has contributed a, a great deal of yeah, those points. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's good to see the teams looking very, very prepared to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I mean, of course, if Abbe was not on Team Jakana, I know... Team, I mean, if Abe was not on Team Sharks, I know Team Jakada would have a good day right now. They really, well, really well look I can't say for certain that if Abe was absent, Team uh, Sharks would be performing because you can see shot number five, the way he has been playing. When, whenever Abe was out, he was the one that was, went on an offense and he, normally, and uh, most cases, he came back with points. So I, I can't say even if Abe is absent, Sharks will still play very well. So, yes. uh, in general, tell me something. Do you think there's uh, uh, growth in the sports of Kabaddi in Uganda? Yes, there is very rapid growth. Because the, you, I mean, you can see if a sport is only six years old and uh, it can organize a league like this, because this is our very first league, but it's well organized, the players have trained well, the, the statistics are good, uh, the cameras are good, we have fans. What's their motto? Uh, ask so, so just a little. Uh, is the sport being advertised in schools? Uh, yes, okay. yes, yes. And uh, next month we are having the East African. Uganda is hosting the East African High School Championship. Ah, that's big for Uganda. That's really, really big yeah. for Uganda. So we'll have teams from Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, all in Uganda. All around East Africa, ah, okay. we'll be having teams. I hope this will be there. the venue because this place is really out <laughs> of this place. Fast fusion sports. Hopefully, hopefully, but you never know what. Uh, the administration has in mind. Tell me something, what is going on? I mean, uh, Team Shaksa has about what, five players on the court and Jakana is really, really lucky. Yeah, it looks like we are here in the second half. It has started with the wait from Mwaria Ismail. Looks like he has got a bonus point. Look at him. I told you, Mwaria, his mind is now focused on the game. He wants points for his team. And it's going to be a tag of war. This is where the beauty of the game. They should really watch out for that stretch. Kamoga chanting, very hungry for points. He <laughs> wants to bring some of his teammates back on the court. Yeah. And he goes back without. Ismail. Uh, Ismail goes back. But if, if they can hold Abe when, while they are two, I it will we, be a great deal of points for them. I think we know this is impossible. <laughs> If nothing is impossible under the sun. Everything is possible, but it's just uh, a matter of execution. Time against him. Mm. I think he's out. Did he, did he step what out? What a good defense. This defender is looking, looking steady. Good defensive work. Very, very good defensive work. Good defensive work. work from Team Jakana. I think that is a... That, that, I <laughs> that think Abbe has, has been, been defeated. I think that has been the discussion. <laughs> over the the, the, the break the, the break that was a discussion how we defend and from the looks of it they are defending very well did what you can do a claim and attack and tackle down and they say no look at abbe ripping warrior's legs <laughs> he wants to squeeze the juice out of him <laughs> abbe very very active on all plays both offensively and defensively that's a one one point because warrior had got a bonus point and team big fish gets a point for defending so it's one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, it's one-on-one. -on -one. But that, as you said, uh, that's close to impossible now. <laughs> to hold Abe back with just two hands. No matter what you do, he has to that And that's it point. from Abe once again. Team Sharks looking very, very good. <laughs> Congratulations to Abe and Team Sharks. Look so, at the, their faces. Very happy. So I think we should call Team, team, uh, team, uh, team Sharks Team Abe instead of Team... <laughs> I mean, it's all uh, on all sides of the court, both offensively and defensively. Yeah, true, true. Kamuka but uh, to the uh, to the referee. But the team team sharks will still survive without Abe. Yeah, yeah I, I believe he's that he's really, really a lot, But it will still survive I think without it's him. It's a role he's just been given to play. That's he's been a selected. Warning. That's a w a yellow card is always a warning for a player in Kabaddi. 
Kamoga has been given a yellow card. Yeah, yellow card. That's a warning. So how do you get a yellow card uh, when playing Kabaddi? What, uh, what, when what you show any case of indiscipline, he must have done something to the umpire to show him that card. No, that was wrong for him. I think uh, he's very, very important on the team. This is what again for team Shaks for Jim Jakana, and he claims a point for them. What a raid! It takes a great deal of composure for a player and once again <laughs> to come back. Look again who is out. It has to be none other than <laughs> Abe. <laughs> yeah, it's Abe. He's doing a lot, and that's shot number five. This boy has great footwork, and he has a, a really promising. Promising career in Kabaddi. He actually and looks really young. Yes. That's another point for Sharks. And the beast the once fish. again. The beast once again stops on the court. <laughs> That's your boy Abe. Yeah, the beast. <laughs> uh, this game. A beautiful uh, footwork by Jazzy number three. Will he get a point? And yes, he claims a point from Chibuka. And the defender is out. Chibuka, the defender. He looks frustrated. Out. He looks frustrated. Yeah, he is very disappointed. He hoped maybe to catch the player, but the player had different opinions in mind. And well is back on court. Scores are still 35 to Sharks and 15 to Team Jakana. Still down 20 points with about 15 minutes to go on the clock in the second half. And a timeout for, for Team Jakana. They are really trying to improvise their strategy. Look at their manager, trying to fix in points. They are try giving them hints how they can defeat. I think, uh, I think Team Sharks is being coached by a lady. Tell me something about the lady. <laughs> uh, Kabadi Kab sport is, a, is a, an intellectual game. See, anyone can coach Kabadi, but that lady has a... It's not just a mere lady. Yeah, she's... Uh, it's good to see uh, Team Sharks really respecting her. I mean, if you, you, you're a man, I mean, you know how men act according to women, but the discipline according to the coach by the Team Sharks is really out of this place. That's the discipline of Kabaddi. That's the beauty of sports. As Abe claimed another point, and he's out. He went out of court. The beast is once again out. Uh, but he will be back, just like <laughs> the Terminator. <laughs> yeah, he will be back. Uh, this is shot three again. Shot three for Jakana's Bullets. Trying to look for points. Doing all great footwork on court. Spreading out arms like an eagle. <laughs> this will be a match to remember. The very odd match to open the league and showcase this well, well, well good Kabaddi. And I think he has failed to get a point. Shot five again. They should really watch out for this guy because every time, most of the times that he went for a raid, he comes back with a point. I mean, I mean, being a, being a sub a sub for Abe, you have to be in position to contribute a lot on the team. Very true. Nominating him to replace Abe every time on <laughs> offense that means he's definitely a good player. And yeah, he's definitely a good player. The fact that he's young, I know he has a very very bright future. It's a warrior on the offense again. Comes back, trying to look for a point, stretching out for a point. But the defenders are well, very well placed. Look at their cover. They are covering very well. And warrior is trying to look for a point. With a chance to give him some more mm. encouragement. But Team Sharks really still looks impossible to beat with about 13 minutes on the clock. And the countdown is on. He goes back with nothing. He goes back with nothing. The umpire is saying something. I one point for point. one point for Jakana. Is it? Yeah, another raid from the big fish. Uh, it's the good sharks. To, it's good to see just a number nine try coming to raid instead of uh, the usual faces. Yeah, this is this really shows. Uh, this really shows uh, the versatility of the team. Look at the defense of the Jakana's Pabodets. They are really, really, really in good formation. Looks like they are here to defend. And the Raider goes back with nothing. Here comes shot three from Jakana Su. And it's 4-1. 
trying to look for a point. Does he get a point? And no way, <laughs> no way home. He has it brought down. Great defense from the Sharks. That's a great catch. That's a way to catch a player. That's yeah. a way to catch a and player. And the referee awards a point to Team Sharks. Yes. Do or die raid for Sharks. Tell me something about the do or die. The, he has to either get a point or get caught. But he can't go back. If he goes back, he will still go off court and a point will be awarded to Team Jakana Super Bullets. And good the teams job, attached. Good job by just the number five. That's terrible cover for from Jakana for a player to get a point from that area. That, that's uh, just terrible defense. I saw something by uh, just the number five in the work of looking for a point. I saw him stretch a leg like he wanted to kick. Yeah. Is that I called it or oh, that is allowed in Kabaddi? Yeah, uh, that's allowed in Kabaddi because uh, Kabaddi, you have to get a touch. It doesn't matter how you get it, as long as you get a touch. You can even kick someone's face, it's okay. Yeah. So the player, the of defenders course, have of course, to be... There are types of kicks that you cannot do, but uh, kicking from the back, that's allowed. Ah, okay. I mean, the defender won't see it coming anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, uh, Kamuka goes back without a point. That's very yeah, that's disappointing. That's the beast is again back <laughs> to wait for more points. Look at the footwork. Look at that speed. The defenders' insides are all worn out. He's trying to get a point, and he claims a point. Did he give him a point? And well, Warrior says, a yes. Good teamwork, good teamwork over there, by Congratulations to the best, Abe. Abe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Team Jakana. Shan number two is out. And uh, Trove, Shan Trove in. Uh, uh, Shan Trove looks like he has not been on the court before. Uh, Is this his first time on the pitch? I, I won't say for certain, but uh, if he's brought in, that means he has something to offer. Because uh, the substitute is usually uh, second to the first for Jakana. Once again, and Abbe. the beast is off. <laughs> the, beast, the beast is off once again. Great work from Jakana. Super bullets. Another raid for Sharks Kabaddi Giants. I like the fact Team, team Sharks are maintaining the 20 point difference. Yeah, that's great work. Really, it's not easy to maintain, but they are trying their level best. You see, great, great defensive work from Team Jakana. Fantastic. No way to go for Shad 9, and he claims a point. Wow, good job over there. You, the defense looked good, but of course, it was see, better it's, offense. It's always important when a radar freezes so in a corner, you should cut him off. Yeah, yeah. As a, as a, as a chain, yeah, as a team, true. you cut him off. But... Uh, that was poor Jaka defensive yeah, play. Poor defensive, from over there by yeah, poor defensive strategy by Jakana Super Bullets. Great footwork from shot number three representing Jakana in this raid. Trying to look for points for Jakana here. But uh, Sharks, the big fish defense, is saying, sir, no points for you here. Go back. It looks like he's giving up. <laughs> Time is again a team once again. And he runs back to safety. And the beast is back again. <laughs> Abe. Uh, he still looks look very at, ready to go. Look I, at his composure only. I, I think if Abe is playing and the next game after this, I think he'll still dominate. He doesn't look tired. <laughs> really? He <laughs> doesn't look tired. It looks like he's having fun. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's well composed today. He's focused and looks like he trained. He trained for this moment. That's why he's shining. Look at him. Very relaxed, like, like he, he has a good rate. He knows there's nothing they can do <laughs> about it. And here comes shot number three, trying to look for a point. Shot number three again. Great footwork. Great footwork. Spreading his arms out wide. 
looking for a touch. But the defense, the defending team is, has proven him otherwise. They're telling him, sir, no points for you here. No points for him, indeed. <laughs> I mean, he looks out. He, he, it looks like they're, they're actually going to trap him. I mean, look at the, the way they are things. covering their space. Once again, Sharks, no point. the big fish, they are playing good defensive work. If I'm to ask, do you think there's any team outside there better than Team Sharks? I mean, they look so impossible to stop both of them. Yeah, I mean, defensive. the league has only started, and this is only the, our first match. So, there, there are plenty of teams there that can definitely tackle down sharks. It's a do or die. I, know, I guess now the viewers outside there know what that means. Yes, a do or die raid. He has to get a touch or he has to get caught. Uh, otherwise, he can't go back to his team. So, so in other words, he has nothing to lose. Yeah, he has nothing to lose. It's in his interest <laughs> to get a point. And he has been tackled down by Team Sharks. Yeah, that's great defensive work by yeah. From the beast himself. <laughs> Mr. Yet Abe. again, yet again, Mr. Abe displaying how good he is. That's another point awarded to Team Sharks. Abe yet again. A, yet again, it's two on one. <laughs> I mean, this is happening over and over again. It doesn't look good. <laughs> it looks like it's a mismatch. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's two players in one. Eh? Look at that stretch trying to look for a touch but the defenders are saying uh, Mr. Abe not again sir we are going to defend you you won't even go back with a point and they managed to do that now they, the trick is they have to come back with a point so that they get uh, more and defenders yeah. on their side and I think it's impossible to get that point with the look of things Team Jakana looks very, very aggressive on both offense and defense. I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to tag one of them. Look at that train. Uh, this defender is trying to look for a point. But team Big Fish, the Sharks, <laughs> they're not letting anyone taking a point from them today. And once again, he doesn't goes, claim a point, goes back to his own half. And Abe, it's two on one. I the mean, beast Abe again. is so impossible to stop. <laughs> the beast again, and he claims a touch. Oh my he God. claims a touch. It was really easy. And the defender <laughs> confirms it. It was a good display of teamwork once again. <laughs> and respect for each other. Congratulations to the beast. Contributing to more points to, for his team. And the shot seven. Left alone. He has to, to get a very, I think very he, he, it's, his, it's in his interest to get a point here because when he goes back alone, he won't be able to defend. So he has to get a point to bring one of his teammates around. Yes, yes. And he's trying to look for one here. But Team Big Fish are saying, Sir, you can't go back. Did he get a point? point? Did he tap? Yes. Oh, yeah, he's he tough. The moment you touch the midline like this, that's a point. That's that a point. good uh, display of offensive skill by just the number seven yes. of Team Jakana. It's good to see that he has a player back on court with him. Congratulations to him and the beast attacks again. <laughs> I think this is easy meet to the big to the beast himself. It's two on one. He's actually two people in one so <laughs> it's going to be easy for him to get a point. <laughs> there he goes. And, and they, they can't hold him back. It's he impossible. Process. And in the process just <laughs> the number seven gets hurt. I think he's going to need some medical attention. Uh, and trying, to, trying to stop the beast. <laughs> <laughs> and the beast gets points, points for his team again. He doesn't seem to be stopping at that. I mean, he keeps going. It's really, really hard to stop him. It's easy for him to get points. It's hard to stop him. I mean, this player is built so different. He's like a robot. Player from Team Jakana trying to get a point here. But Sharks. It looks like he's 12 or 13 years old. <laughs> but the aggression is like yeah. for a 25 year old man. Yeah, that's the beauty of Kabadi. The aggressiveness. And he gets a touch. And Abe says otherwise. Abe he puts dashes him, down. him off court. And the umpire is saying something. So yeah. both of them are out. 
something like that. Yes, and the beast is out. He dashed out, but he went out also. <laughs> and the beast, the beast had some out. words for us over the, <laughs> over the commentating table here. He had some words for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a funny man, always uh, joking with people. And Walia Ismail claims a bonus point. At this moment, at this time, I can certainly say there's no way for Jakarta Super Bullets down 22 <laughs> to take over this match. There is absolutely okay. no way. That was good play over there. Yes, that but was a good play eight. from Jakarta. I think from he gets Ismail. a point. Yeah, he, he got a point. But uh, when you look at the time, when you look at the time left and yeah. the points. Uh, it's impo really, really impossible. <laughs> right now, it's impossible. Uh, the time is really winding down. I mean, when you are winning, it's a, it's a good feeling to always look at the clock. What a raid. He claims the touch. That's another point for Sharks. And I can still say <laughs> it's it, really, really, really now impossible for seems, Jakarta to come to be, back from this. It seems to be very, very easy for Team Sharks. I mean, uh, if I was a coach on the Team Sharks team, I would let Abe go and rest and maybe <laughs> hydrate for the next game. <laughs> okay, okay, claims a point. Yeah, he claims a bonus point, trying to look for a toe touch, but uh, the defending team says otherwise. Uh, that's Walia Ismail. That's Walia Ismail. I think uh, Walia Ismail has been one of the outstanding players on Team Jakana. Yeah. He's a good raider, but just that today was not his day. He was out of luck. So that's one bonus point added for Jakana's Fabulets. So uh, it's I just think today wasn't a, a day for Jakana's Fabulets. I mean, when you look at everything that has been happening, uh, the way Abe has dominated this game, uh, the beast himself alone, uh, that proves that uh, sh perhaps sh Shaks came in well prepared. <laughs> Came in well prepared, uh, more than Jakana did. With about 44 seconds on the clock, I hope Jazza number eight has some fewer left in the tank. Maybe to rescue one, or to bring back one of his players, who's his teammate. He claims a point. Yes, that's a bonus point. Uh, great, great legwork by Walia Ismail. I mean, when you look at him, he's composed, he's losing, but. Uh, He's showing the discipline for the sport. He's, he's well composed. He's not going down that easy. Yes. He's going down, but uh, if he's going down, he has to go down with some points. Yeah, he claims a point. I think he claims another point. Uh, nope. That's the last raid for the game taken it's, by Abe. It's the two look MVPs on, from both teams. I think he just look at to. Look at the composure. And he's just telling it. him, man, <laughs> give me the touch. Give me the touch and walk and away. And Abe winds it down with a <laughs> It's a beast again. again. <laughs> Congratulations to Sharks, Kabaddi, Giants, the big fish, claiming this game, the opening game of the league. And that's three points for Sharks, Kabaddi, for an all-out. And the umpire is calling back the team. That was really, really exceptional from Team Sharks. Match day one, they came out victorious, scores looking a little bit embarrassing but i mean it's uh much day one i know yes. team jakana can go back to the there, drawing board there was board. a lot of pressure going on since it, the league is just beginning and uh everything is new the lights you know the venue <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know that brings a lot of pressure there, there are a lot of excuses that can be brought up right now but the only thing i can say for sure is that sharks kabaddi giants came in more prepared than the Jakana Super Bullets so today. What, what do you think uh, Team Jakana has to do uh, going back into the, the way they played? Uh, what does the coach have to, to tell the players? Well, for starters, I mean, this is just the match one, match day one. This is the first match. There's still a lot, there's, there is still a lot they can achieve. They just have to revise their strategy. How to go by a player who is playing like uh, the Beast Abe. I mean, it's not the only big man these teams. You see, we have plenty of big men in Kabaddi sports, but how to go, how to defend them? You defend them as a team because when you look at the way they've been defending Abe, well, players wanted to tackle him alone, and there's, uh, he has proved to be heavy for them, yeah. and they've paid greatly for, for, for that. Then, of course, going forward, I know uh, Team Sharks, much as they, I mean, Team Big Fish, much as they, 
they got the score today, they still really have to improve. I mean, there were some lapses, both offensively and defensively. What do you think the female coach has to, has to do uh, going back into the drawing board? Well, the female coach has just to maintain, maintain the physique of the players and uh, motivate them so that their brains stay focused while they're on court. Uh, and that uh, motivation can only come with uh, a few things. Uh, I mean, if you if you look at uh, if you look at uh, the points scored, mm. I mean, uh, the team team sharks never really had extra points. If you can look at uh, yeah, true, the true. Table, I mean, the screen over there, team sharks uh, never had extra points. Uh, do you think that is something you really have to work on? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's really something they they, they have to work on. Um, for sharks. The, the only thing they have to, to do right now is to go like the way they've gone today, play like that, a more aggressiveness, more aggressiveness. And uh, I, I will, the coming up match uh, next, we have uh, Star Pirates, Kabadi, Kabadi Club versus yeah. uh, random fighters fighting to win. Yes. I mean, tell me something about these teams. Where are they from? Well, they are all from one, one area. Uh, I think this will be like a derby. <laughs> it's a home derby. Yeah, this will be like a home derby. Uh, but uh, Star Pirates Kabaddi have been... Uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say thank you so much for being with us. It's match day one. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, Team Sharks were, the, were victorious. To, uh, team Big Fish were victorious today. I hope you can stay tuned. Uh, thank you once again. I hope to see you later on. It's me, Vinny Jurua, and... Long Eric, thank you. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Thank you. 